giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And it's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking salvation. I want to bring out this article here from CNBC. It says Nord Stream pipelines hit by suspicious leaks and possible sabotage. It says Russia says it has a right to use nuclear weapons and they will. All right. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible. It says Tuesday is the final day of voting in a series of referendums on joining Russia. The votes widely seen as rigid and illegitimate are likely to pave the way for Russia to announce it has annexed more of Ukraine. Interesting. OK, but let me jump down to the point here. It says. Uh, in other news, Russia has again insisted it has a right to use nuclear weapons if its territory is threatened. And several suspicious leaks have hit the Nord Stream pipelines with experts not ruling out sabotage. OK, and uh, let's go into the word sabotage. It says wrecking, disruption, deliberately destroy, damage or obstruct something, especially for political or military advantage. There you go. OK, and I'm willing to, uh, to bet that they're pointing the finger at North America, but we'll see. OK, it says European officials, meanwhile, are investigating unexplained leaks affecting both the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines that bring natural gas from Russia to Europe via the Baltic Sea. OK, which is a project um, that they're looking forward to on uh, Russia, as well as some of the European countries, specifically Germany, is looking to use those resources. All right. It says both Europe and Russia have both said sabotage cannot be ruled out as a cause of the damage. But the finger of blame is being pointed at Moscow, which is yet to directly respond to the accusations. OK, so things are getting more intense. All right. As you see, um, in, in our lifetime, World War Three would take place. OK, when you read Jeremiah 50 and nine, it says, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. Okay, Babylon is North America. An assembly of great nations from the North Country. That North Country is Russia, which is known as Gog and Magog in the scriptures. So Russia and their allies, okay, is uh, being prepared to go up against North America. Let me bring out this word cause. All right. It says to go up, ascend, climb. OK, it says uh, there's this definition I want to bring out here. It says there we go to rouse, to stir up. So Lord is rousing and stirring these nations up. OK, to go to war. It says Jeremiah 59 for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, North America, an assembly of great nations from the North Country. OK, Russia and their allies, to name a few, um, Iran, Syria, North Korea, China. OK, which, by the way, all have nuclear weapons. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her and formation against Babylon the Great. From thence she shall be taken their arrows, their arrows. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. OK, those arrows represents those ICBM missiles. OK, none shall return in vain. So your, those uh, missiles will be used. OK, those these nations are going to hit that red button. OK, to shoot their missiles. OK, from their land to North America. And this is going to happen in our lifetime. And they're not going to return in vain. They're not going to miss their target. OK. When you read Isaiah 13 and five, <clears throat> it says I started for it says a noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Then Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. So they're gathering together to get ready to go to war. OK, and the Lord is mustering the host of the battle. 
Okay, he's numbering the battle. Okay, verse five says they come from a far country from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation. So what is what are these weapons is going to come from one country from the far end of heaven to another? It's going to be those missiles okay, that Jeremiah referred to as arrows. It says to destroy the whole land, the whole land of America. It says, verse six, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the almighty. And that's exactly what we are witnessing. All right. Uh, this whole uh, final end all be all war playing out. OK, right before our eyes that the Lord is mustering the host of the battle. OK, he's stirring up the pot. Revelation 11 and 14 is going to be a short one. It says the second woe is past. That second woe represents World War II, which was prophesied by John the Revelator, which eventually was fulfilled and came to pass. It says, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. That last war, wars, World's War III, okay, which is playing out right before our eyes, is coming quickly. And so not only will the allies of, of Russia, that North country, will shoot their missiles, but also... Uh, the beast, which is beginning to hate that whore. Okay, there, some of these um, European countries are relying on these two pipelines to be installed. Okay, for their for their citizens, for their economy. Okay, and I'm willing to bet they're going to point at North America um, as a forefront of this sabotage. Okay, a possible sabotage. We'll see. OK, but I just want to bring this article out here. It says CNBC North Stream pipelines hit by suspicious leaks and possible sabotage. Russia says it has a right to use nuclear weapons. <clears throat> we'll see what the Lord uh, does with this situation. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.